I know very well that most of us want to display our piety, our love for God through the things we do. Loud music, showing off to others that I attend this church and all that. But what if, there's something called noise pollution. And I think in a place like Nigeria is virtually, there's probably no law against it or if the law exists, nobody puts it there. Sometimes I, warn, I worry about what federal environmental protection against it does. The man that is playing loud music to disturb you is crossing the boundary of freedom. You have the right to live in a serene environment. We have a church that is on a relatively large expanse of land. And every morning that we're praying, once we step out of the sanctuary, you hear noise from far away, some people using big speakers. Those speakers are probably not as powerful as one speaker we use in our church anyway. But we would not do that because you are disrespecting other people's right to live peacefully. I once lodged in a hotel when I was traveling in the course of my missionary work in the Nigerian hotel and I, my, the room I was staying overlooked the, the, the swimming pool. And that morning, some people gathered there, they were playing loud music, they were doing physical exercises. And I went to the management and I said, I think when people come to a hotel, they want to ask me to do a piece of peace. How come that 6 a.m. in the morning, somebody is blaring music? So, well, sorry, I said, I have been to other places, they don't do this. So if your neighbor is doing that, back to your question, if your neighbor is doing that, you can call that neighbor and beg that neighbor since there are no law. But if there are laws, such things should be reported. And I think every, virtually every religion, every, mostly, most churches and mosques in Nigeria are guilty of this. The mosque will wake you up at 5.30 in the morning, even when you want to sleep till 6 o'clock. And it's legit because they wanted their member to come. The Christians will come up and do vigil and they will do it till wee hours and they would not do it in their church. They will make us so the word we hear. That is wrong. Somebody needs to tell them. You cannot be doing that because you are polluting the air and you are harming other people. I don't think God approves of such behavior. It is reckless.